T-minus 17, final guidance release. We'll expect engine ignition at 8.9 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, ignition sequence started. All engines are started. We have ignition. Okay guys, check this out. Just wait. I recently built the one and only Lego Saturn V. I'm pretty proud of it. So it took me about seven hours to build this guy. And um, I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the more impressive Saturn V models I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a meter tall which would make it, uh, I think the real Saturn V was like 116 meters tall. You'll have to fact check me on that one. But um, that would make it a one 116th model. Uh, that would make it one 116th scale, um, which is pretty big. And uh, it's got a lot of really cool aspects to it. So if I set it down right here, it's a meter tall so it's high enough that the uh, upper portion here actually fits into the camera however I, I need to grab these two components here it comes with the lunar module which uh, I'll get a better shot of later and then um, a little diorama of the Apollo uh, capsule which is just splashed down after re-entry um, and this is really cool because you can do a lot of really neat things with it. Um, one of the things that I found really cool, and uh, I read in the instruction book, the model designers, so uh, for those of you who don't know, this model, this Lego set, was uh, originally a, um, a Lego Ideas set. So uh, Lego Ideas was a bunch of Lego fans that came together and uploaded the schematics for this online and uh, got 10,000 votes and um, and initially after they got the first 10,000 votes Lego didn't approve it um, and then after some time and a couple of revisions to the model uh, it got the necessary votes and it was turned into a Lego set but what I like is the entire model was designed actually around the lunar lander and the reason for that is um, they wanted to make a Lego set in which you could put the lunar lander into the fairing halves here which I think are really cool so you just take it off like that and then you pull we'll pull one fairing half off and I'll push that engine up a little more and there's a nice little stud for you to attach onto the side there and then what I'll do is I'll put that on like that and you can see you can display it where the command module is on top of the lunar landing module. Oh, of the lamb, it looks so cool. The Saturn V is the most powerful rocket we've ever launched. Um, and it has so many uh, different renditions and different models. I've built three. I have um, a small one here that I got at Kennedy Space Center a long, long time ago. I've got the uh, the Christmas rocket, um, the Saturn V made by Revel, and uh, now I've got the Lego the Lego one here too. And I, I have to admit, the Lego one is pretty astounding. <laughs> I mean, it's it's just absolutely massive. And um, if you guys are looking for a really cool Christmas or birthday gift to give a space fan. This guy right here, this is definitely one of them. The other thing I like about this model is you'll notice the command module in the landing diorama, uh, the the decals on it aren't messed up in any way. Like, And what I mean by that is generally when you're a capsule and you re-enter through Earth's atmosphere, you get a little messed up on the way, um, given the fact that you're you know traveling at like uh, Mach 2, Mach 3. Um, but 
on the on the actual Lego model, they didn't add any of those uh, re-entry marks. So all you can all you do is you take the top cover off, which in real life was just a cover um, that went over the command module, um, and then uh, you can just take it off like that and. All you need to do is separate it like so, uh, and you'll notice I've left the little top bar there on top, um, and then you can pull that off like so, and in reality what happened was the command module took off, flipped around, connected with the lem, and took off, and that is how it went to the moon. Now, um, I'm showing, uh, uh, I'm in very rough detail here. However, I highly recommend if you have not had the opportunity to pick this Lego set up, I would get on it as soon as possible because these things are selling out like crazy and they are for a very good reason. Uh, it took me, like I said earlier, about seven hours to build this thing and, um, it was definitely a, a very fun seven hours, to say the least. Um, I rushed it, <laughs> but uh, I had a lot of fun building it, and it's a really neat model. It's got a lot of cool details, too. Um, if you look down towards the bottom of the rocket, you, you can see all of these um, small one-by-two pieces um, that are used to simulate the venting. Um, and if you look at the Revel rocket, you'll notice uh, that they have, um, they have a similar the similar ribbing however it's a little more noticeable on this model and I actually like that because um, if you ever watch the Apollo 11 4k uh, video which is literally the film from the Apollo 11 uh, flight like up resed to 4k and um, you'll see the the ribbings look look a little more prominent than I think they do on the Revel model um, and that could be just because the camera's closer, but um, I, I really like it. It looks really neat. Um, they've even included, you know, interesting things like the like the retro rockets for separation on the second stage here, and um, and on the and on the first stage, you can see detail on that as well. Um, and then one of the uh, probably the neatest construction of the entire rocket, in my opinion is the launch escape tower where it's literally these weird single stud uh you know you'd normally see these as like handles or uh, fire hydrant pieces and they're just intertwined and they're intertwined to create this really neat ribbing and um i think that's i think that's really cool but this rocket is it's so neat whenever i uh i point it out and i'm like yeah it's made out of you know nothing but lego people are like no way what um, and that's because it looks so realistic. I mean, even down to the F1 engines, you can see the detail inside of the uh, internal structures of these engines. It's quite, quite something. Um, now, you've probably seen a lot of space YouTubers pick up this guy. Um, I'm telling you, if you haven't yet, you have to. It's a really, really nice model, and I highly recommend it.